So hello, today I would like to talk about a few books that I think maybe might be they might be five star reads. If you watch this channel, you probably know that I don't read five I, I don't rate uh, books five stars that often. So if out of this list one book if is a five star, this is a success. So you probably noticed that there's something missing right here. So let's start with that. So I don't know if this is cheating, but I am pretty sure that one of the books from the Chronicles of Barsetshire, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is going to be a five star. So so here we have Barchester Towers and Dr. Throne. I think there's six books in the series and I've only read the first one, The Warden, and surprisingly I enjoyed it a lot even though a lot of people say it's the weakest in the series and you kind of have to get through it to get to the better ones. A lot of people, ha like, people have different favorites, so it's hard to me to predict which one I'm going to like the most. Some people say it gets better uh, with each book. Some people really like the second book. Some people hate the third one, but I know Kate uh, from Books and Things actually really enjoyed Dr. Throne. Throne? Throne? So my prediction is at least one of those books in the series is going to be a five star. <laughs> is it cheating? Probably. Okay, let me put this back. Also, yes, those are two different editions. This is a, an older edition of Everyman's Library. Okay, great. So next we have a little bit more of cheating because this is the <laughs> sequel to uh, my favorite book of last year, which is The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. This is the second book in the series, The Lost Future of Paper Harrow. I think it came out last year, but the paperback only came out uh, recently. So I bought it and yeah, I can't really tell you anything about this book because it's a sequel, but the first book is it's a weird mix of historical fiction mixed with steampunk and there are some uh, LGBTQ characters. There are also some scenes that are in England, but, but some chapters are set in Japan. I think it's a really underrated series, so... Oh, the sun is setting. This is very atmospheric. <laughs> okay, next we have The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. I read Never Let Me Go, which I didn't love, but from what I've heard, The Remains of the Day is very different from Never Let Me Go. Uh, Never Let Me Go had this like kind of dystopian feeling and the narrative was very... how should I call it? Like distant? And here I think uh, a lot of people will say you're a lot closer to the main character and this is a story about a butler who was kind of serving this rich man for years and sh he goes back to... I think he goes back to the estate and kind of starts reminiscing about his time there and it's supposedly very touching and beautifully written and it's about memory and I really like books that explore kind of memory in this way. So I do hope this is going to be a five star. Next we have No One's Talking About This by Patricia, Patri Patricia Lockwood and this was shortlisted? Was it only on the long list or on the short list too? I don't remember but this definitely what's on the long list of Women's Prize for Fiction. I and mean, first of all, can we talk about how stunning this cover is? I love everything about this. Ah, oh, this might be my favorite cover that I have like on my bookshelf. So ever since I read Fake Accounts by Lauren Euler, I was on the lookout uh, for books that kind of explore internet culture, and this supposedly does. I do think it's kind of. I do think it, it kind of reads like. <laughs> tweets because the like look at that the entries are like really short so I've heard that this actually reads a little bit like tweets so we'll see uh, I'm a little bit worried about, about this one since I've never read anything from this author but it's a topic that uh, I find interesting so we'll see next is a book I don't own yet but it's Nickel Boys by oh no I completely forgot Nickel Boys Nickel Boys Nickel Boys Colson Whitehead? Wait, let me check. Yes, Colson Whitehead. I don't have this book, I might buy it, either buy it myself or ask someone to buy it for me for my birthday because it's next week, so... So this book, first of all, is based on... Maybe not based, it's inspired by true events in American history, which is reform schools. And I know it's about this young boy who is sent to a 
at this kind of school because he was mis misbehaving or something like that. And I knew oh, that the story of reform schools is very tragic and heartbreaking and honestly, first of all, I've heard some like amazing reviews, but also the second I hear that a book is based on true events, it just hits me so much harder. Immediately my brain is like tear dots activated, <laughs> so mm, I have a feeling I'm going to cry. So I do think it's going to be a hard story to read, but I think it's an important story. Actually he might have been sent there like wrongly, like he didn't do much, but he because he was black or something like that, he was sent there. Yeah. But given the time and the place when innocent mistakes is enough to destroy his future. And so Elwood arrives at the Nickel Academy. I'm really looking forward to reading this. And last but not least, we have a brick of a book, which is Red Comet, The Short Life and Blazing Art of Sylvia Plath, written by Heather Clark. So this is a biography of uh, Sylvia Plath, whom I really admire. Uh, and this is like a thousand pages long. The pages are really thin. Uh, there are also some pictures. Of Sylvia Plath. This was very expensive. I actually bought it when I got my job, uh, so I, I got my first like paycheck and I was like I am going to splurge on this because this is something I really really would like to read. I haven't heard a lot of people uh, reading this book, but from the people that did read this, I think Olive... Olive who? Okay, let me check. A book Olive. She read it, rated it five stars, loved it, and also uh, someone else loved it. Matthew, who uh, I will also link his channel down in the description. It was weird because he, I don't think he read anything by Sylvia Plath before, but he read his, the, her biography and absolutely loved it. So I haven't heard anything bad about this and I'm also so glad that actually this is really long because I feel like it will delve into everything I, it needs to kind of explore. And also from what, what I can see, it has some of her poetry, so it might like talk about the poems that she has written and kind of what was happening at the time in her life. I'm not quite sure, but I am very excited to read this. So that's everything. I am on a quest to find a five star because I've only given two books five stars so far this year, so that's not great. <laughs> also, hopefully the next video is going to be finally about my collection of classics. I <laughs> recently got my nails done, so, so silly, but I got my nails done so uh, it would, like when I'm showing you the books, my nails wouldn't look like absolutely awful. So it's coming. I, can, I don't want to say soon because I do want to make it kind of as good as, good as possible and that might take a little bit of time, but I'm finally doing it. So that's everything and see you in the next video. Bye!